Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's presentation of Siemens NX Manufacturing Solutions featuring NX Cam. My name is Sarah DeMeo with Acuity Solutions. We are a long-standing Siemens PLM partner with a strong NX Cam focus. In the next 30 minutes, I will introduce you to some top industry challenges and show you how NX offers effective solutions to achieve both your business and manufacturing goals to increase your competitive advantage. In this presentation, we will show you how NX can help you to overcome your inefficient processes by accelerating your production, how it can increase your throughput to be more competitive, and how you can finally achieve reliability by getting it right the first time. Let's go into more detail on these challenges. There are many advantages to using NX, and today we are going to talk about three key topics. We'll talk about a model driven pro process to maximize the value of a unified integrated system. We'll talk about Siemens innovative technology which allows for greater productivity through automation. And finally, solution confidence, how supporting your business with a proven solution makes sense. So first, let's talk about the model driven, -driven process with NX. In NX, we call this the master model. Master model enables users to have a single model that is used for all downstream processes from drafting, tool design, and assemblies to NC and CMM programming and more. Product manufacturing information, or PMI, drives the automation of programming, inspection, and documentation. Your workflows are done in parallel and concurrently, thus reducing manufacturing engineering time. All users and consumers of the information are kept up to date seeing the latest progress and or changes in the work because of the full associativity in NX. Now, because of this master model approach, there is no need to manage multiple copies of your design models or to use separate softwares for different work tasks. The engineering change orders or ECOs are seamlessly handled. All documentation and programming is updated from the single driving master model. This factor alone will save you time and money, eliminating issues like the part was programmed to the correct revision, but was rejected by inspection because their documentation was a revision behind. I'm sure that is something that has happened to you before. So here, as you can see, Jim Sutton, who's the engineering manager of Minco Tool and Mold, says, Master model enables a design change to propagate through tool design into NC programming. It ensures accuracy through the entire assembly, knowing that the finished product is what the customer ordered. It's pretty powerful stuff. So here we see the master model in a workflow flow diagram. You can see that we start with the design model. This design model is used in many processes as shown here. So next we'll show you the model preparation and job setup, which covers the concurrent workflow we see here. Model preparation and job setup in NX. Here, you can import or design your CAD model. NX reads all common CAD formats. We're going to select the CATIA V5 format. It's just a Windows file open. And here we'll see as we convert and load the part directly into NX, seeing the CATIA model. From here, we're going to create a sketch plane and model the work holding and fixtures, creating the construction geometry that's used to build that fixture. We'll start with just a simple rectangle defining the outside border or the footprinter pad for the fixture. Again, with constraints and dimensions, you can size and shape the geometry as necessary. Here we're selecting the edges or features of the part that will be used to create the containment boundaries on the fixture. This ensures that the fixture will always be associative to the part geometry. You can create fully defined sketches using the CAD tools in NX, as here we're adding additional geometry defining our design. You can create geometric rules that also assist in your design. Here we'll make all these lines parallel to the other sides of the fixture. Modeling the base and the mounting plate of the fixture is simple. It's just in the context of the part. We just select the part, and we'll select extrude, and we'll just pick a face onto the part. This would be the mating face where the fixture would align to the part. We'll then select the top area, creating the mounting plate for the part. From here, you could go ahead and add 
other fixture components to the part. Like here we'll add a bolt, right, that will be used in our finish assembly fixture or our inspection fixture to do that. Again, you can add additional clamps and fixtures using assemblies and components. So here we'll turn these off and we'll continue on with our design using synchronous modeling to create the stock model for the manufacturer of this part. Here we'll select the entire part and close all of the hole openings on the part. Again, we'll then offset different regions and boundaries of the part representing what the casting stock would be from an investment cast part. Here we'll see a synchronous model can directly edit all the imported CAD model data. We'll add stock to the boss areas, change the blend radiuses on the part, and remove some of the other features or defeature the part into that. Add draft angles, etc., and continue modeling the stock model of the part. Here we'll continue modeling the second fixture for the part. Again, a similar operation as the first, we'll just create our sketch for a part, defining the areas of the fixture we need to create. We'll select the edges of the geometry again to remain associative. There we select the geometry. You can see the ease of modeling with inside of NX to create the fixture. Here we will move some of the clamp components. You can again see the ease of the dynamic repositioning of components in NX. From there we will create the fixture setup drawings for the shop floor. Again, this becomes a vital important when jobs are created is to have this kind of documentation quickly, easily, and readily available associated to the part. Preparing product manufacturing information with PMI, again, is easy just by attaching the geometry the same as you would in any sketches or dimensioning onto the part and creating the drawing, thus defining the product manufacturing information and feature control frames. Here we see the finished drawing being created for the inspection operations. There we move into and you see a finished job preparation has been completed. We have just seen how NX is used to increase your manufacturing engineering throughput in the job setup and preparation using tasks commonly used. Having the ability to create associative stage models in stock or casting models from the customer supplied design data ensures reliability and confidence that you always have it right. The inspection and quality department preparation and fixture needs were handled and process documentations and drawings were produced concurrently from the one driving design source, the master model, enabling accuracy and communications throughout the job cycle. Let's talk more about the master model workflow, moving to the CAM and CMM programming tasks. Here, the work that was done in the job prep and setup is used by the programmer and programming departments to apply the tool and inspection pass. Let's take a look at this in action. The setups and operations in NX. Adding the part and the fixture to the CMM from our previous model preparation is fast and easy. Simply open the part and add it to the machine tool. Dynamically adjust the fixture components. Here we'll align the clamp to the mounting holes on our CMM. You may use constraints to center this clamp on the table's hole position. Just by selecting the edges of the clamp and a hole position. Using the PMI automation begins with by linking the PMI on the model to the part. We select the SPM 600 probe and we automatically have recognized the features, the measurement dimensions, and locations for the part. The inspection paths are also seen in the inspection navigator. We verify the inspection paths of our part with simulation. And to modify a path, we simply double click to change any of the settings. Here we'll look at the point set and change them from eight points to a six by six grid. Fast and easy programming at NX CMM. Let's look at what CNC programming department has been doing while we were over in inspection. First set up programming the part and the fixture is mounted to the machine. NX CAM machine simulation verifies the programming and the material removal. Here we see NX CAM simulation verifying our 2.5D volume based milling. We we'll continue on with additional program features with easy to use five axis milling contouring around the bosses of our part. We then go in and we can look at swivel milling in five axis, 
of the boss lugs on the part. We'll continue on with additional operations with 3 plus 2 milling and multi-axis support by finish profiling the rest of our part contours, thus completing the first setup of this side of the part. Additional hole milling is fast and efficient in programming inside of NX CAM. Next we'll look at the second setup and the programming begins here with face milling in the second operation. Cut and wrap or traverse across voids are all program options inside of NX CAM's toolpath. Material removal and verification is standard in NX. Pocket floor and cleanup and helical Z level wall machining is shown here. Here we'll continue on with that boss finishing the second boss and then moving on again to finishing the holes in the second operation of our part rotating and repositioning to do the second one with our spiral helical hole milling. Hole milling continues on the rest of our part to completing our part until we do our outside contour with multi-axis contour profiling. Let's look at how post-processing is done in NX. Here we select the desired post-processor in the desired control format. Quickly and efficiently NX creates the posted output. Let's take a look at how this posted output NX would be used in shop documentation. Shop documentation is standard in NX CAM, and we create HTML formats of each operation and operation sheet. Tooling sheets and operation sheets are also used in shop documentation. We have just seen a completed manufacturing engineering and programming workflow process completed. We saw how NX technology enables fast throughput with automation, intelligent features, and streamlined interface. All along the way, we used the resources of tooling, fixture, machining, and post-processor and simulation libraries in NX. It is with this capability that NX captures and reuses your manufacturing knowledge and practices to drive your production with consistency of output and reliability that is right the first time. So now at this point, the work is ready to enter the shop floor production phase. Here we will use NX to simulate what will occur on the shop floor for this demonstration. The part has been machined. Now it's time for the first article inspection process to begin. Let's look at what CMM programmer had completed while we were in the CNC department. You can see the inspection paths now have been selected and are completed. Any modifications made we will now go back and simulate what is happening on the shop floor inside of NX CMM. So here we'll see the inspection paths come down, do the locations for our holes on the side of our part, and then we'll be deprobing our rib and pocket locations. Again, you can see safe repositioning of the probe to measure the rib locations and thickness. The manufacturer part is now completed past inspection. You're in production now. All completed manufacturing cycles were done using NX. But wait, engineering change notice. How much time and effort will it cost you? Will there be to redo all the engineering and programming time on the first article production? ECOs with NX are an everyday challenge. It's simple. It's fast. We'll take a look at what has changed. We'll look at the hole locations, the rib locations, thickness, and corner blends all have changed. NX maintains the associativity of these updates and has updated all the documentation drawings and inspection drawings. The drawings you see have reflected all of these changes. Next, we'll review the impact the ECO has on the CNC programs. As you can see, we opened the part and the part files in the Navigator have been marked invalid. They need to be updated. Changes to the toolpath were marked. We select generate and the new processes are simply updated and used for your verification with simulation to approve their changes. We'll continue on looking at all these changes that are going on with our part. Next, the user will select and view the toolpaths of each maybe single operation he would like to review. We'll now look at what happened to the CMM program and verify those ECO changes. Again, we see the model has changed and the inspection paths. Again, we go back, use simulation to verify that, to have the confidence in knowing it was right the first time. Again, we will go back, you'll see the pocket and the rib locations have moved. Now let's talk about the Siemens advantages. We've just seen the advantages of the model-driven process and how NX can decrease your time spent in manufacturing engineering in the programming department. 
which brings consistency and confidence to your manufacturing workflow and processes. Next, we'll take a look at NX Cam's innovative technology and toolpath and job programming, and we will show you how productivity is increased through NX automation. With NX Cam, the toolpath is created with optimum tool and cutting strategies to reduce programming time by eliminating lengthy geometry selection and preparations necessary in many CAM systems. Your productivity is increased with intelligent toolpath generation by NX CAM's knowledge driven tools. NX CAM's 2.5D volume milling saves programming time with built in intelligence, resulting in not only programming time reductions, but time saving material removal as well. All of this happens while keeping it up to date with the master model to give you even more time saving power when an ECO change tries to slow you down. Here we have a customer testimonial from Michael Weir at Telsmith Inc. Um, they are in the industrial machinery and heavy equipment industry and they were looking for a solution to increase their CNC programming output and improve their machine productivity. Their results were pretty astounding. More CNC programs were generated in three and a half months using NX CAM than they had in nine months using another system. NX generates more programs for them in spite of being used to program more complex machines. NX can increase your efficiency in turning, milling, drilling, multi-axis, CMM, documentation, and more. Many products need to be manufactured with multiple setups across multiple machine styles. We already saw how the master model ensures that we have the correct data all the time, but now let's show you in more detail how NX can drive productivity and time savings to your business by programming your multifunction machines. Complete programming of a machinery part will be demonstrated here. Here we'll take a look at this filter head part. We will start with the turning setup in NX CAM. Notice we have a workpiece setup. We define our workpiece, our stock, blank, and fixture components. Along with that, we will identify the blank and we will select the materials from the material library that this part will be manufactured from. Here we'll select aluminum for our, our part. From there we'll go back and it automatically creates the spun outline for the lathe cross sections that's used for programming. There we can see them outlined for us. Next we'll look and see how to create toolpath operations in NX. So we can select, here we'll take a look and use the facing operation for our part. We'll select our part, and it's as simple as just selecting the cut region or the cut face we wish to use. Again, we can grab the tool, dynamically zoom in, take a look at that, and simply press Generate. At that point, we understand the volume and size of the stock. We created the facing operation. We'll create our second operation for roughing. Simply press Generate. We understand where the stock volumes are. No additional picking necessary. Here we'll see 3D material removal and toolpath verification of the two toolpaths we have just programmed. We will continue on programming our part with the rest of our features, grooving, finish operations, etc. Here we'll take a look at what the programmer has done with that. We'll replay this again with verification with material removal. We see our facing operation, our OD operations, followed by we'll have our finish pass, grooving cycles to complete our part, along with the boring or drilling of the large hole in the center of the part. Second machine setup would be, is drilling, if this part was done in a conventional manner across three different machine tools. NX setup assures reliability with machining by the use of assemblies. Here we use feature-based machining to automatically program the holes of the part. Feature-based simply select the part and select the desired type of features we are looking for. You may filter them just separately or find all features on the part. Here we will unselect grooves and we will just select the hole operations on the part in this demonstration. So with this, it's simple. We select the option for holes and we ask it to find the holes. We see NX is finding the features, locating them, and there we see that we have found over 60 features our whole features in our part. 
It is quick and easy to just select these features to have them automatically program with the appropriate tool size and operations for that feature type. Here we have our drilling operations, our spot drill operations, center drill, chamfering, and our tapping operations. Let's go ahead and take a look at the verification of these program operations. With this, we'll simulate the part, we'll zoom in, and we can see where our first position for our hole location will be. Then we will just select play to watch our program operations be simulated as they would be machine on the actual machine tool. We'll continue from spotting and on to finish drilling in our operation, thus completing the second setup for this part path. We will continue on moving into our third setup which really involves the finish machining operations on the head of the part. Here we're using horizontal machining with our multi-part programming. 2.5D volume based milling keeps track of all the impressed stock across multiple machine parts. With NX, it is only necessary to machine our program one part and all the other parts, regardless of orientation, are simultaneously or automatically machined. To make a change, it is quick and easy. It is just select the operation, double click, and make the selected changes. Multi-part programming is standard in NX CAM. This would complete our standard machining operations of turning, drilling, and milling. Multi-function machines reduce setups and increase productivity. Multi-function programming requires only one setup in NX CAM. Here we see synchronized toolpath on the main spindle for turning the main body of our part. We continue on with the boring of our part, finished toolpath, and grooving operations. We will continue on by drilling on the main spindle and milling operations on the sub-spindle. Continually programming on the end of our part, creating the part contours, relief areas, and holes on the head of the part, while we're still drilling 60 holes on the main spindle, thus saving valuable program and machine time across multiple machines. Here again, we can see is the toolpath verification, some chamfer milling operations going on. Now we'll finish the face milling on our part, moving on to do some five axis machining inside of the small cavity on the top of our part. All while still drilling our 60 holes. 5-axis milling again is simple and easy in NX CAM. Here we'll see our contour and contour profiling operations in that tapered wall cavity. There we have it, a 5-axis mill turn part all completed inside of NX CAM multifunction machining. After completing the first part, we moved to the finish inspection operation as we had seen before in our aerospace style part. So we see all our inspection paths that we had selected, utilizing the same features of linking our PMI programming on the part. The CMM programmer may make some desired changes as we've seen before, changing the size or number of points or contact points that are used. The easy to use interface allows quick, rapid changes inside of NX CMM all with the power of NX, milling, drilling, turning operations. Whether standalone machines or multifunction, they are all done fast, efficient, and easily with NX CAM. Okay, so now we have seen the master model workflow in action from job setup and prep to NX CAM, CMM, and creating shop floor documentation all in a concurrent workflow. Now we'll talk about solution confidence and how Siemens manufacturing solutions are affordable right size solutions for your business. The three major components that contribute to manufacturing reliability and the confidence that you get it right the first time are having an integrated associative manufacturing environment that brings it all together from CAD, CAM, and CMM to the shop floor. It's also important to have a scalable solution to match your business needs at affordable costs. NX is actually quite affordable. You can start with a value price package, say with just two and a half axis, and add point solutions for turning, three axis, five axis, etc. 
And you can always have the confidence that you can add capabilities as you grow and that your needs change. And NX goes all the way to a fully managed manufacturing shop floor simulation environment. And finally, a very important piece is having the staying power of a major manufacturing vendor. Siemens is an established leader in the market. Now, Fook leverages end-to-end -end product development solutions from Siemens PLM software to streamline the development of their large complex machines. Their solution set includes NXCAD, NXCAM, Team Center, and they also use the Siemens 840D controller. So whether your company is small, medium, or a wor worldwide manufacturer, Siemens manufacturing solutions are right-sized for your business and your future. So let's watch and listen to what one of our Molden tool companies <coughs> is doing with NX. Minco Tool and Mold's primary business is building plastic injection molds. We've been in business for over 50 years. Our competition isn't the company down the street. Our competition is, is the world marketplace. We were an early entrant into CAD CAM where we found a niche in the marketplace, whether it be just general machining or it be in the mold making part of our business, it is, it is complex shapes. We always strive ourselves in the quality of the tool that we take to press. We use NX uh, to maintain that quality. A customer comes in with a concept sketch that he wants to manufacture, he wants us to mold. We're able to take that napkin sketch, turn it into real product using NX. NX gives us the tools to engineer our designs up front, whether it be a product design or a tool design. We want to make sure that we go through all aspects of, of the part and the tool early on in the process. By doing that, we know that when we start cutting chips that we're actually cutting what we want. We're not duplicating efforts. So it's important for us to maintain that accuracy through the entire process, and that's what NX gives us. We get a supply file from a customer and we'll take it in here and we'll redraft it and make it toolable. Basically I will uh, wrap steel around that part and make uh, the mold base that will produce the plastic part. Annex is a strong modeler where we can bring in data from multiple sources. The ability to manipulate complex geometry is easier to do inside of Annex because its ability to deal with explicit models, hybrid models, or fully featured models. We're not limited by uh, the software in order to develop our product. Synchronous technology helps in the way you can manipulate geometry easily. You can go in there and remove faces, delete faces, simplify bodies quickly. You don't have to worry about parameters. You just go in there and you know delete or change size. That is a mold wizard component. We dropped that in. It automatically knew to hook into the ejector plates down here. All we did was put the part area on it by wave linking in the part geometry into the lifter file and then trimming it off. And if we ever update that part, that lifter will update automatically. We allow that master model then to propagate through the tool design into programming where tool design will go in, update their model, uh, Programming then will go in and update their data, their tool pass over top of the existing tool data. That's going to ensure that we keep accuracy through the entire assembly, knowing that the finished product that we get out of the mold will in fact be what the customer initially sends. We program 100% of the model using the, the CAM software from NX, and then we do all our trode modeling, uh, everything through NX, till the finished product. The master model is very important because if everybody's on the same part at the same time using the same model, everybody's looking at the same thing all the time. Everybody knows how to dimension, verify stuff. You don't have to teach three or four different softwares. So if it's everybody synchronized on the same software, everybody can, can help each other. You gotta save time, you gotta save money. So we implement the high-speed machining whenever possible, small cuts, light cuts at uh, you know, fast feed rates. And yes, you know, NX has several options 
that uh, that you can adjust your paths accordingly. There's options in the next that'll actually turn the corners, which actually creates a much nicer and smoother path. It doesn't have the jerkiness of the machine. It's faster, it's uh, better quality. Now you just set it up and away you go. You know, sometimes you may have 12, 14 inches and now we can cut that in half, which means better rigidity, better part finish, uh, better tool life. Sometimes I'll run 20, 24 hours for a finish cut but it requires no polish. You know, and you have to have a very good software to do that. We start in product with an X, we design in an X, we program in an X. So what you see is what you got. I mean, that's just that accurate, it's that good. And without it, we wouldn't be in business. I mean, it's pure and simple. I mean, if you're not, you're not cutting fast, you're not, you're not making money. Uh, if you really want to cut a true part form and cut it accurate, you better have it all today because the pricing isn't there anymore. You know, it's a world market. It's, it's serious business. NX is an important product to us because it is an integrated product and that's what we're about. We don't just design the part, we manufacture the part. So it's important to us to take it all the way through in the same software. If we maintain accuracy both from product design, tool design, programming, through the building of the tool, we're going to ensure that we maintain a level of accuracy that gives us a high quality part. Time and cost somewhat equate. If you can't beat them on labor cost, then you've got to find a way to beat them in some other way. And that's where we excel and always have excelled is that not only do we do things in a hurry, but we do it on time. Well, our time today is drawing to a close. Before we go, I'd like to emphasize the advantages your business can have by utilizing NXCAM from Siemens. The first being the model-driven process to maximize the value of a unified system. Siemens innovative technology, which allows for greater, pro greater productivity through automation and having the solution confidence to support your business with a proven system like Siemens NX. To learn more, you can visit us on our website at acuityinc.com. Um, give us a call here. Our number's on the screen, 888-747-0850. You can also send us an email. Sarah Majors is our Senior Territory Manager, and her email is sarah at acuityinc.com. And we also have helpful resources for you. We've got our Acuity blog, acuityinc.com slash blog. And then the Siemens NX Manufacturing Forum is a wonderful resource as well. I mean, you can see the link here on the screen. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks so much.